on it. Whoa, look at the bias motor on. Tell you what, you can't move for them. Loads of them. It's getting ridiculous. Right, well, we're at Aris Egg at the moment. At the uh, Sunnyside Croft Caravan and Motorhome site. Well, I'm just going to go this little ride now. I don't know where it's, I'm going. At. It's on the map, it shows it. This, It's just a, a track and it goes up into the hills. Might be alright, might be rubbish. I don't know. Yeah, so this is uh, all this is known as Arisag. So we've uh, We've been at six other sites, and this is the first ride I've been on that I've been able to film. So it's not doing too good at the moment. So we'll get past this bit here, we should have a good view of the, over there. I'll just uh, stop and show you. So that over there, that there is, um, I think, the Isle of, I'll put it on the screen. I think there's two together, one's in front of the other. But there's not often you see them bathed in sun. It's a bit cool today. A bit of a, it's a bit of a breeze here. And we've just been at the mercy of the weather. I mean, it's absolutely threw it down last night, but today it's nice. It's going to rain again at six o'clock tonight, apparently. Right, now then. This is wrong, isn't it? How can you go right there? Because if you go right down there, I think it comes out up there in a big circle. Let's go and have a look. I can always come back again, can't I? I think I've been down here before. Oh no, I think it's right there. Yeah, I came through before uh, a couple of years back on the other way with the jerky wimmiest camera rolling. All that filming in 4K I did. I had it in anti shake, but it doesn't tell you that the anti shake doesn't work very well in 4K. Works a lot better in uh, just HD. And I'm blowed if I can tell the difference between the picture quality. Right, now just up here we get back on the road and
turn left, I think. Well, it's cool, but it's pleasant. It's just that temperature where it stops you getting a sweat on. Right, let's have a look. Well, it's 17 degrees. Well, it feels colder than that, but... Now, now we turn left up here. And then I think... I think there's a sign for a caravan site on the pointing across the road. Now this bit I haven't sidled on before. So you've got North, uh, North American Indians camping and caravans. It's nice living around here. Eh? Empty roads, just occasional traffic. Now then, this is the thing now. Get your fingers crossed with this one. I've been going now about 15 minutes. Might get a good view of the uh, all over there, look. Here. Oh, it's a nice day today. We had a ride uh, the other day along the banks of Loch Etive to this end of this B road. I mean, it was all right, but there were too many trees and it, it, it was a little bit. The hills were very high and it. I didn't have the camera rolling. I, I thought, well, because I said if it's any good, I'll go back and film it, and I didn't think it was much cop. And it was a dull day. Nope, what's this now? Oh, that's well, now then. Well, that's the caravan camp there, look, on the right. But we're going further on than that, yeah, aren't we? No, it, it's only got so far, this. See, this is what that last last video we're lacking on the, the side of Loch Etai. Hey, up. Now then. Now, moon cows. Oh, I think they're moving here. I think they were bulls then, I'm just thinking, am I wearing anything red? Yeah, there's a few more along here, look. 
Well, it's a good job Ellen didn't come with me, she'd been frightened to death. The young bulls, I don't know what they like, are they aggressive? Or... What's that there? Is that a bull? Yes, it is. Well, it's got no orders anyway. I forget I've got to come back this way because there's, there's only a dead end this. See there's a house here, this could be just a farm. It didn't say private road did it? So I've done four miles. Well I reckon ten miles there and back but I have been round out of stage haven't I? Now we've got a gear to you. Might be as far as I can get. Mm, well. well, going off that, you can get through it, isn't it? Right, there you go. Well, I've opened some gates in my time, haven't I? This is a pretty new one, isn't it? I should be doing this. Yeah. Should I be doing this? One step, that's it. Right, sure. that's shut properly. Don't want any of these sheep getting out, do we? You don't know what you're going to get up here, there could be a mad dog. They've ripped my legs to pieces. And I think this just goes to that farm, doesn't it? I think it does. Right, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just have a quick look at this bike. I mean, you could do with a wipe over, but generally it's doing all right, isn't it? Yeah, we've got, uh, these aren't the original tyres, but these done about a thousand miles on the back. And hardly anywhere on them. They're really good tyres, these. Continental, what are they? Uh, Conti Continental Ride Tour Extra Punchy Belt. So they've got like a... A bit extra thick protection inside and against punches. Uh, yeah, the discs, the brakes are just uh, just going, wearing down a little bit. You can just about see them. I let them out once and had a look, and I thought, well, I'll have to put them back in for the time being. But I've got some spare ones in here. Uh, front forks, after 3,000 miles, there's absolutely no. No play at all in that. Everything's been spot on. The battery's great. Engine. <laughs> Engine. Yeah. I can't. You know what? It just, uh, just keeps going. What can you say? Right. Okay. So I'll, uh, I'll turn. In fact, I'll finish the film here now. And, uh, whether we'll get another one on this holiday, I don't know. But there we are. Okay.
Right now, what could be causing this noise? I wonder. Now, I'll notice there's one thing for sure. Tip the bike over. It doesn't do it when you're turning the pedals around. But listen there. Now, should that bit of play be there? I've checked it on the Scott, and there's a bit of play on that, but it doesn't make that noise. I mean, look at the dirty chain here. I guess it's all mucky. So, what I'm going to do now to eliminate all this, I'm going to take the chain off, clean it all up. Clean the cassette up, clean all the jockey wheels, oil, put some oil in and wipe it off best I can and we'll see how we go on from there. Okay. Because we've done quite a few miles now. And when you think both wheels have got tiny little bearings in them and they've done as many miles as this motor. Well, the back wheel was replaced at 400 miles. But they're only small bearings and there's nothing wrong with them, so I'm sure it can't be the bearings going in the motor by now, can it? Surely. Right, let's carry on. Right, it's a rainy day. I'm in the shed, I've put the bolt on, so we're nice and cosy in here now. I've tipped the bike over, I've arranged it so that the back wheel is just off the ground. And what I need to do is just, I want to try and change it down, change these gears up here. Right, so we're in the highest gear now. Okay, so this, this ticking noise only occurs when you're pedalling. Now, I don't know about you, can, I, can you hear something there? Like, can you hear that ticking? Tick, tick. But that sounds as though it's coming from the bike. But when I stop pedalling, all you can hear is the ratchet. Well, that's a bit odd, isn't it? Well, what I said I'd do was, you can see how dirty this chain is. This is, of course, the new chain that I fitted uh, last November. I think. I'm looking for the. It's that dirty. I can't even. See. Oh, there we are. Look. That's the link where it gets separated. So I'm going to take it off, try and give it a good clean up, and then clean all the derailleur up. I mean, that has got muck on that wheel there. It's all full of dirt. Give it a good clean up. And I'll see you shortly. Right, listen to this now. Now that sounds to me like a random ticking, and it's coming from that bottom drop jockey wheel. You hear it? chain now hung up and I've been squirting it with this stuff and it's been going everywhere <laughs> so I've just put a little bit of a limited amount on and I've just gone all the way down to the bottom and wiped most of it off as you can see but this is what I found now just come down here with me now 
I said there's a funny noise coming from these jockey wheels. Remember? Now watch this. You can see it. Oh, look at that. And look at that. Yeah. So, could that be our mystery clicking noise? Both jockey wheels are knackered. I don't know. I'll have to have a look at them. Right, so I've cleaned the chain. Well, sort of. It could do with a bit more cleaning though. I've just put it back on. And it's... Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that the tapping ticking noise is coming from that or both jockey wheels. Okay, so I'll have to see about re replacing them. Right, so it's not raining today, so I've come outside and this is what we're going to do first is check how many wheels, how many teeth there are on them wheels. So what I'm going to do is find myself a, a spanner, which I think is a 3mm one. And do that there. But first of all, I'll put my gloves on. Right, so we've got three parts to this wheel. Uh, we've got the wheel and these two washers. Now these washers here, I've cleaned all this up. That one goes in there like that, and that goes in there like that, and that's how new ones should arrive. And all you've got to do then is put them on the chain like that, push the chain round and push that up inside there and get the bolt easier said than done but I'll, I'll do it so that it's not out of the way I've counted how many teeth there are as well and there are as far as I know 12 teeth so that just screws into the back of that other plate I'll do for the time being. You can see it's screwed on quite tight and it's uh, it has got quite a lot of rattle, brittle and rattle with it that so it did sound along with the chain which was uh, exacerbating the more the, the sound. I think that's what the problem is. I'm hoping it is anyway. Okay. Right, I'll order the, uh, the parts now and get them on and I'll see you in a bit. Right, so this is a day two after now and as you can see we have two brand new, you can see that, Shimano uh, jockey wheels. Now these should be identical to the ones that are on. We're back in the shed today but it's a bit nippy out there. Uh, now to make this a bit easier, I think I'll get rid of this chain, so I'll just uh, take that off, get these wheels on, get the chain back on and then I'll show you what it looks like after, and hopefully that will be the end of that, we can put that to bed then, go a ride and the ticking noise should have gone, hopefully. Right, well I've had to move outside because I, I couldn't see what we were doing in there, it was a bit difficult to get to. But I've managed to get it off the wheel and I've got them both in here. Now the thing is, this was taken off the bottom. I don't know if you can read that, but that has narrow on it. That was the bottom pulley wheel. This is the other one and it hasn't got anything on it. I've cleaned it up, it's just got Shimano on it. So, whether they're both slightly different, these original ones, I don't know. But, all I know is, these two, the ones I already put on, I've left the chain on because I could do it without taking the chain off. They're both the same. So all I'm going to do is fit them and see what happens. Right, well they're both on now. <coughs> That's a bit fiddly. That one's too bad, make sure they're tightened up enough. I put a drop of oil in the centre before I put them on. And now that, compared with how it was before, 
It's pretty quiet, isn't it? So what we need to do now is go for a ride when I get a chance and see what it's like. See if the ticking's gone. Right, off we go then. Sporting new jockey wheels now. On a newly surfaced road as well. Bit of a mystery this because it wasn't down for being resurfaced. Right, let's turn right. Look how bad this road is here. Look at this here. Absolutely falling to pieces. They've renewed that one there. Look at these potholes here. And these here. <laughs> They've just packed up and gone, beggars believe. Now, like I said, I was 95% sure that it's these jockey wheels that are causing that tapping noise. Everybody into their cars with their heaters going, aren't they? But, you know, I don't know, I'm not expecting it to be 100% this. Right, now then, it's, I think I'm going with the wind now, it's quiet. Can we hear anything? No. Silence. No, tip tap, tip tap, tip tap, tip tap, tip tap. So have we cracked it or what? <laughs> oh yes. Well, I don't know how to break the news to you. But I think that noise is back. I can hear it again. I can hear it. It's still doing it. Well, would you, Adam, and Eve? It. See, it's done this before I've gone out. I've had to go a few miles before it started making this noise. And I've just done. Quite a few of you. Let's have a look. Not getting on for four four miles. Yes. Well, what can you do? The same noise is back. Well. I did, have a, I did say when I was coming over Burn Edge that I'm only 95% sure I still had an open mind to this noise and it's still there, it's come back. Here's me now, I haven't a clue what's causing it. Not a Scooby-Doo. All I can do is ignore it. And just see if it goes any worse. Now then, you can hear that, can't you? Well, there's only one thing left now. Both pedals have got a little bit of play with them. So all I can do is try and get them off and swap them for this Scott, just to see.
Okay, right that. Oh, what can we say about the queue? Well, yeah, 3,431 miles. Right, so, we've got uh, new tyres, new brakes, not original. The only thing I can say is, you see there, Like that. There's a little bit of play in that and the other. So I've tried on doing this to take it off, but I can't get it off. I'll have to find a longer spanner or something. Okay. So keep watching future videos. Uh, we might get to the bottom of it. Okay. I'll see you on the next one.